Hello everybody and welcome back to Broden Plays Ancient Domains of Mystery. We're going to generate a new character. I'm going to do something a little bit less boring than a human fighter. So what I want to do is I want to take a look at some of the different things that we can do. A human? Fine. Yeah, a human's good, you know? Earthlings are nice because they can cook and garden. But they eat a lot. Drakelings are fun because they spit acid. Gnomes might be fun. Grey Elves are literate. Dark Elves are... Interesting. Dwarves are interesting. High Elves. And they're literate as well. They're long-lived. Trolls. Gemology. That'd probably be pretty nice. Gnomes have gemology as well, though. And mining. Pickpocket. It's weird. Alright, we're going to try something different here. We're going to do... Dwarf. Or no, a gnome. And then... Weaponsmith. Weaponsmiths are crafty men and women able to repair damaged metal equipment and improve items. I mean, I don't know how well we'll do, and we'll actually put this to fate, um, so I won't do the, the attributes myself, I'll let fate decide. So let's see what a gnome weaponsmith is like. So we're born under the month of the falcon, uh, I forgot about that. Be a male gnome, you have black hair, green eyes, and a ruddy complexion. Your father's a guild master. Alright, they're well known in town. Your parents were not very happy with you because I slept a lot and didn't care for my duties or tasks, or tasks and I was very lazy. Your younger adulthood was characterized by hard and long work. You have decided to study under a renowned master. Your great disappointment, you had to find out that he was a hard, unjust, and tyrannic man embittered by his old age. Your apprenticeship years were quite terrible. At the age of 120, and your apprenticeship. You are now a fully learned weaponsmith. We have three talents we can do. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to show you the, uh, the hair. So we'll do Boon to the Family. Charming. And as you see here, hair. Inherit a special item. And my name is... Let's just do Brock. Brock is a good name. All right, so here's our, we have 18 strength, 17 toughness, 13 charisma, 11 appearance, um, 15 mana, 12 perception. We have 11 learning, which is above 10, which means we are literate. Perfect. Let's see what else we have. We have a leather cap, a leather apron, a war hammer, a small shield, a ring of fire resistance, and no much boots. What's in our backpack? A war hammer, anvil, three iron ingots, an iron ration, and gold pieces. Was the Warhammer the heirloom? Shall we see? We have appraising, athletics, climbing, concentration, detect traps, find weakness, first aid, gemology. That's why I chose the gnome, so we can have a gemology and uh, identify gems. Haggling, listening, literacy, metal metallurgy, mining, pickpockets, smithing, survival, and ventriloquism. Our mining is pretty poor, but we can detect metals quite well, it seems. So clubs and hammers we're good at. Um, shields level 1. Plus 5 bonus to hit. 2 D3 plus 3 damage. So that's not a ton. Quests. Alright, so I think that Warhammer is our heirloom. Wicked Mithril Warhammer. Plus 0, 2 D6 plus 3. Instead of 2 D3, 2 D6 plus 3. Yep, that's our heirloom weapon. So, yeah, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and milk the crap out of that. So, an unassuming cave entry. Let's go in here. Open the 
door. Yeah, let's grab some rocks. Why not? Put them in our missile slot. Kill that guy. Take his corpse. Already burdened. Ah, we have that anvil, that's right. Okay, so that bat is uh, friendly to us. Quarterstaff. Clothes. Okay. A short bow. Alright. We've gained level two. Alright, so let's see how, how far we can take these uh, skills. So, uh, metallurgy. Bring up for the max. We can only have 17 in mining right now. We'll bring that to the max. And smithing. I bring that to the max as well. But I want to see what else we have. We have literacy, demology. First aid, find weakness, detect traps, concentration, climbing, athletics, and appraising. Homology. I don't think we'll need it right now, but we, we might need it later, you know? So, let's keep going. Look at that! 20 gold pieces. Good job, Gnome. Are these herbs already? No, they're just a uh, background. Alright, let's go down here. Dog, jackal corpse, we'll pick it up. Rocks, we'll pick them up. For that guy, pick up an arrow. Go him. That. Open the door. Kill this guy. Level three. The first few levels of this game sometimes are just very Samey, I guess I would say. So let's bring up probably literacy I'd want to bring up so we can read books. Um, mining we'll bring up as well. And we'll do smithing next turn because it's going up quite a bit. Alright, so now we have another talent, talent, talent. Another talent we can take. Plus three hit points. Faster. Disarms traps. Tends to find more gold. Ten carrying capacity. Three power points. Two to speed. Speed the range with top prices reduced. You know, we're going to do the carrying capacity because, oh, your movements are getting swifter. Cool, so we're faster? I'm going to do um, carrying capacity because we, uh, open the door, yes. Because we're going to be carrying around this anvil everywhere and uh it takes a lot of uh you know of stones to carry it ah big joke i'm just kidding um so we need to make sure that we have enough capacity in our weight to carry it gnomes don't seem to need to eat very much because we have not eaten yet if my memory serves me correctly which is cool i like it here's a clean robe and here's a loaf of bread Your orc crop corpse slowly rots away. Your equipment suddenly seems to weigh less. Alright, level 4. Hmm, so we said we wanted to do smithing, right? Yep, that's 59, 64. Uh, mining? Nah, metallurgy. Now, let's take a look at our skills. Can we just click mining? Try to find and then use a pickaxe, right? Smithing? We need to find a suitable forge. Uh, ventriloquism. Which direction? That direction. Na 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 na. Okay. Technology. Skills used automatically. Okay. That's all I wanted to look at. Do you want to climb? Wall. weakness. Automatically skill haggling. Okay, so haggling is something we don't automatically. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, assign these skills. The reason why I want to do that is I wanted to see what we use automatically and what we don't. So one is going to be 
the metallurgy. Two, mining. Three, smithing. All right, so a one. And let's see if we can determine what this warhammer is made out of. Warhammer is made from metal. All right, we know that. I first need to identify things. All right, whatever. What is this guy? Cut purse. I'm dead. I'll pick up a hat. Bandage. Now, clean robes. You have a good feeling about the clean robe. All right? Let's look at our inventory. Clean robe. Good. So this skill, the appraising skill, what that does is as you travel, the longer something is in your, like this is a fair quarter staff, the longer something's in your inventory, the chances are you're going to uh, appraise it um, to say whether it's good or fair or, or whatnot. So I'm going to take off my leather apron. I'm going to put on the clean robe. As if I remember, clean robes give you appearance modifier. Appearance 3. Uh, it also does give us 1 DV. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And that appearance modifier of plus 3 is pretty nice. It means people will treat us better. Because we're gorgeous. Sling and a corpse. Ah, now we're hungry. Perfect. Uh, loaf of herbing bread. Very rich flavor. Okay. Don't. Yes, yeah, clothes. All right. And that's, uh, you have a fair feeling about the sling. So its appraisal is fair. That's good. This, a female were rat. An ogre, All right? Okay, so. Let's see what we won't be tasting. Literacy. Mining. And smithing would be a bit of a waste. Praising wouldn't be. Up to 40. Perfect. A glass wand is lying. I'll take that up. Alright, uh, you suddenly can't move. Alright, now we can move again. Touching the gelatinous cube paralyzes you. We only have 18 hit points now, because that cube almost killed us. Ah, uh, that's not good. <laughs> now you might think to yourself, didn't we already explore everything in the dungeon? Why are there enemies? Enemies generate. So uh, even if you do completely uh, um, finish up in a dungeon, can't, there is a chance that... Uh, or enemies will appear. That's something to keep in mind. Alright, so we'll look here. We have a, a hat, clothes, gloves, hammer, quarterstaff. Bandage, glass wand. Roll. I mean, first aid. There's no recent one to take care of. That's unfortunate. Go up. Now let's try to go to the exit. Might not be able to. Wow. We finally uh, come across a swordsman. I'm going to go ahead and go... Berserker. Seems to panic. Don't need to panic, dude. 
All right, we're level six. I'm now able to melt down metallic items. Cool. All right. Let's see what that at athletics does. Because I don't really know. So good is, is pretty good. A score of poor, poor and below should be considered to be a warning. Handle such items with great care. All right? So athletics is used to raise your physical attributes by training your muscles and movement powers. Whenever you raise a level, this skill influences your chance to raise a physical attribute. Athletes um, work especially well for characters with low to very low physical attributes. It also slightly influences your looks. Okay, and speed. Oh, interesting. So climbing, this skill is used to climb out of pits and holes. What else do I want to look at? Oh, just pretty easy. Um, food preservation, there's gardening, gemology, haggling, healing, herbalism. I don't think there was really anything else that I wanted to look at, huh? Ventriloquism. No, not really. So, uh, athletics is actually fairly good, apparently. Yeah, so we'll get that up to 76. It's a huge increase. Uh, let's see here. What else can we... Heal wounds, 20% faster, wins the time more gold, plus 3 power points, plus 2 to speed. Yeah, let's do heal wounds 20% faster, we're going to be healthy here. Pick up the large ration, since we're hungry, we'll eat the large ration. die before we get to the hamlet. Alright, here we are at the hamlet. We have a uh, farmer here. Village elder. Okay, so he gave us the carpenter quest. Um, here's the druid. Do -do 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 -do. We can't really see very far. Kinda sucks. Okay, let's talk to the sheriff. He doesn't tell us about anyone to bring in. Interesting. It's the second time that's happened. Tiny girl, you get your dog. I promise. That's that, really. Unless, of course, there's like a forge here. Is there a forge? So I'm, I, I just think there's people. Yeah, there's just people. There's really nothing good here. All right, there was a someone who can sell us some food. We might need that. Let's go back in. Where to grab some food? I don't want to attack the tiny girl. It's disgusting. All right, so we have sterling bread, iron ration. Large rations cost less, so. We'll take three, we'll pay. All right, we paid 80 gold pieces for everything. Get out of here. All right, so now we also have this right here, which is an outlaw settlement. I didn't, I didn't do this on our last playthrough, but I will do it here. 
So there are bandits and stuff around here, which is interesting. Here's a black market. Now black markets are good, I believe, because I'm pretty sure they'll take pretty much everything. So a hat, leather apron, clothes, clothes, gloves, warhammer, quarter staffs, short bow, rocks, arrow, glass wand, scroll, and that's it. So let's do that. I'd offer 31 gold pieces for your scroll. Yes. 68 for uh, glass wand. Yes. One gold for arrow. Um, five for rocks. 14 for your slings. 35 for your short bow. 22 for your quarterstaffs. 27 for the warhammer. 11 for gloves. 7 for clothes, 7 for clothes, 23 for leather apron, 7 for hat. Perfect! We're a little bit uh, more rich. Ugly clothes. An elven chain mail. Amulet of greed. 1,612 gold pieces. I don't think I have nearly enough gold. Yeah, 319. Yeah, never mind. Clothes, torch, here. Plain blanket. Lumps of clay. A potion. Fencing gloves of fidelity. Huh. Iron ration. Brass bracers, light boots. Scroll of darkness. Wand of webbing. Scroll of darkness. Alright, so we can't really afford any of that stuff. Let's talk to the beggar. Anything? Please, some money, please. Guess we could, huh? Cut purse says, nice day, isn't it? Hey, what about you, bandit? You got something to say? Business is good with all the adventurers around. You know what? Yeah, let's give this beggar a gold. Uh, one. The beggar grins at you with joy. There's a trainer in here. Master Thief. He thinks he should prove your skill and valor before we talk about business. Alright. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I guess we'll figure it out. Oh, hey. What's up, guys? Talk to the boss. Okay. Kill that annoying healer living to the northeast. He's so annoyingly goody-goody I can't stand him. He also could do me another favor. Kill the damn sheriff in Terinno. Such an annoying guy. I'll do ye a favor if ye succeed. Oh, that person decided to come and attack me, huh? What's this guy doing? Why am I poisoned? Assassin's dead now. Gosh dang it. I hate being poisoned. Looked ratly. What's up, dude? He's got a great offer for ye. The key to the whole mess for but 650 gold pieces. Earn that money and we'll talk again. Have a nice day. So we're poisoned. I'm gonna pray. Right? I got healed. I'm gonna pray one more time. I'm no longer poisoned. Perfect. Alright, so let's exit this place. Now we have a few quests. A little bit different from last time. Uh, we're... Oh, I'm overburdened because I'm super hungry. Let's eat a large ration. And I'm just a little bit burdened. So... Alright, so, uh... Pack of wolves. Yeah, let's fight them. Uh, we will die. bleeding, you know? I died! Here you go, guys. Oh, Brock, I'm sorry you died, buddy. My charisma went by one. My dexterity went by one. 38 monsters perished. 
Plus fire resistant. Um, how? Gain through an item. Interesting. Uh, Alright, well, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys liked it and have a wonderful day. I will see you next time.